Today's episode of the Nate Land Podcast is brought to you by DraftKings, BetterHelp, and PXG. Hello, folks, and hey, Bear. Welcome to News Channel 5 at 10. <laughs> I'm Brian Bates, Aaron Weber on sports, Dusty Web, Dusty Slay on weather. All right. <laughs> A Dusty, Dusty Slay weather man would be crazy. I like that. He's like, nobody knows what's going to happen tomorrow. And, and that's true. Yeah. They don't know. I pull up the weather app all the time. It's like rain all week. All it is is heat. Yeah, all it is is heat. We have educated guesses, though. We can see a storm front coming in, right? Mm-hmm. You can guess. Mm -hmm. Did you ever host the news when you were working there, Brian? <laughs> no, I was never on the air, but I did do it in college. There's a video of me out there. You were it. the boom goes the dynamite guy? Gosh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the very first time I ever did sports, on, I think I got a tape of this somewhere, a little VHS tape. The teleprompter went down right when I was starting. Really? And I was too scared to even say anything because this was live on Murfreesboro TV, and I just faked it and just went off memory the whole sports cast and did you pull it off i pulled it off wow it wasn't great but yeah. <laughs> i just went off memory scores and things like that but i did do weather once and there's a video of that out there too i think nate lens even posted that video oh man back in the day i did pretty good you were in front of a green screen mm -hmm. that's fun they you had point? green screens back then <laughs> <laughs> you're pointing around to stuff yeah, and you're like, oh, we got a storm front over here. <laughs> we didn't have blue because we didn't have a word for it yet. But uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did pretty well. But but I mean, weather, it is amazing that they, with satellite or whatever they're using, word of mouth. That they I don't can, think it's word of mouth. Well, I'm just helping That's Dusty out think. here. That's what I think. They're, call, they're like, all right, we're in uh, Phoenix here. Call California. Uh, <laughs> see what's see coming what the, in. <laughs> yeah, see what the weather's like. <laughs> <laughs> that's what i thought so like california's just out of luck they just right. gotta get hit with whatever they, but get they just with. got they got great weather you but know? hurricanes generally come from the atlantic on the as far as the u.s the you know they hit the east coast and you get a week's warning a yeah. lot of time mm -hmm, mm -hmm. of something happened so that's uh that's amazing yeah we got we we, we clock those pretty good mm -hmm. snow we usually that's often doesn't happen but i mm -hmm. think according to greta thunberg mm -hmm. uh the world should be over by now Okay. I think she made a prediction a while back that uh, climate change was going to be. Is, uh, this is what happens when Nate's not here. <laughs> Things <laughs> go. Nate is here, by the way. Well, He's going to be in here any second. All I'm saying we're getting is. getting it out while we can. All I'm saying is, you know, it didn't end. Mm -hmm. And they're, the, so weather is pretty unpredictable. You're going to feel pretty silly when it does. Mm -hmm. uh, Only right. if it ends, you know, pretty soon. Mm. Well, uh, all right. That killed that <laughs> line. But. Uh, <laughs> Sorry you guys aren't up to date with what's going on out in the world. I mean, that's not my fault. You guys are checking out here. Well, it's 92 degrees outside right now. It's almost October, so there's something going on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was, if anybody cares. I do care, Brian. Oh, I'm sorry. It's taking a little. It's taking a second to get rolling here. I yep. don't know. It's, there's you know, bad energy in the room, and I think I'm the one causing it. I I'm think so, too. That. I feel good. You ever feel like you bring a bad energy into a place? I never feel like that. Okay. I'm solid energy all the time. Okay. Well, you can, uh, I'd appreciate a little more empathy <laughs> right now, but uh, let's just, let's just kind of reset here. Where were you this weekend, Brian? I'm very curious. I was at, I was in Cincinnati, mm -hmm. technically Great Dayton, city. Kentucky. Dayton, Kentucky, even better. It's yeah. Right across the river. Commonwealth yeah. Sanctuary. I did an all ages show. How many people you think live in Dayton, Kentucky, and people go, where do you live? They go, Cincinnati. All of them. You think so? <laughs> yeah. I live in Cincinnati. Well, well it, it depends well, on- another state. It, but, it uh, depends on how far out you live. If, if, you're, if you actually live in that area, you tell them you live in Dayton. Just that's like, true. But I posted, when I did that club, I posted on social media, I'm going to be in Dayton, Kentucky. The club messaged me and was like, just say Cincinnati. Because <laughs> people have no idea what Dayton, Kentucky is. Yeah. But if, even if you're, you know, 20, 30 minutes out of Cincinnati, you might not have heard of Dayton, I'm, I'm guessing. Right. So, um, and it might keep you from going. Exactly. They're like this random city in Kentucky. It's like, no, nah, I can see the Red Stadium. I can see the ballpark from Dayton, like right across, yeah. right across the river. So. I mean, you live in Hermitage. You tell us yeah. you live in Hermitage, but outside of here, you would say you live 
tell people you live in Nashville. Well, that's outside true. Of here, he wouldn't tell anybody where he lives. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. But it is uh, still the same state, at least. That's the that's the thing. That is true, but it's amazingly much closer. It it is so close, as you know. Mm-hmm. It's like East Nashville to Nashville. I mean, you see the skyline. Yeah, I mean, the Cincinnati Funny Bone was in Newport, Kentucky, which was just over the over the water. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. it's all a mess up there. <laughs> yeah, a mess of a city. <laughs> but it's, it was got great. Twelve bridges. For I this. like Cincinnati. Yeah, it's fine. It's too, a pretty city. Too many bridges. Yeah, a lot of. How bridges. many people are trying to get across that, that little river? I do like that bridge that you go across, like coming from Nashville, like the kind of the the covered bridge, and it's real tight. And then it. Uh, you I, like that? I do like that bridge a lot. You like a scary bridge? <laughs> yeah. Oh, look who it is! Just roll, ladies in. and gentlemen, showing up. Nate Bargetzi, everybody. Just tell him about my weekend. Welcome in. Brian was talking about his weekend. We uh, we shut him down pretty quick. We never got into it. As soon as he launched into it. <laughs> we're talking about bridges. I've had enough of this podcast. <laughs> oh, there's the grenade. Right. grenade. <laughs> Could have got it. Someone yeah. complained about you not the bringing final it. final one. Yep. This is the final podcast. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Boom. It's uh, hollowed out. So I hope so. Is, I know. Yeah. Everybody really gets nervous around a grenade. I'm not. You're not? No, I mean, I mean, this one's very clearly it's touch engraved. It. It's uh, they're so much heavier than they think they're gonna yeah. be. Yeah. Well, it might not be a real one. I think, well, I think is this what this is I a decommissioned it, real grenade real one, right yeah. here. Okay. You think but you could throw this in combat? <laughs> no. <laughs> you do a hook shot. I always say yeah. Ben Roethlisberger asked me when he goes, "Is it? It's not real, right?" Everybody says. And I'm like, no, it can't. Well, it's not locked but, but and then, loaded. Yeah, but you go, no, it can't be real. That's a crazy question. But it does then make you go, it's not real, right? <laughs> like, because you're like, if it, you just want to know. I just, you know, I want to see if I can see what's the, going on in yeah. there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can see down the middle of it. Well, well, Brian talked us through his weekend. What about you, Nate? What did you? <laughs> <laughs> get started. Uh, Brian said two things. <laughs> what did you go finish your yeah, weekend? Yeah, what did yeah. you do? Well, I was Dayton, at, Kentucky. At the Commonwealth Sanctuary. It was an all ages show. Mm-hmm. It was very nice to see kids and their parents both be bored together as a family. <laughs> 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 Looking out there. How many generations do you think were there? You have three or four, probably? Uh, you had grandparents and grandkids there? There were some people there who I'm sure were grandparents, yeah. but they weren't there with their grandkids. That's cool, though. But there were some grandkids there, though. There was a lot of young children there, yeah. so I'd assume their grandparents are still. Yeah, we're around. all grandkids. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it was fun. <laughs> Met a lot of folks. It was a good time. I also did, well, I did my Brian Bates and friends here on Tuesday, and that was great. Nate came and did a set. Angela Johnson did a set. It's a hot show. Yeah, Boy, I saw all the pictures. The only, only friend you got. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Dusty refuses to do it. You know what? Just Tuesday, you Tuesday, I was in Las Vegas. Okay, mm. let's I hear about a, it. I did a corporate gig for Boot Barn, Old Town. <laughs> I don't know if that means, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> just like you wouldn't be, you like I picture all your corporate work is in Las Vegas, but it's in the other part of Las. We the, were off the, We were off the strip. There we go. There yeah, we yeah, go. Yeah. South Point <laughs> Casino. Then, yeah. South Point Casino. That's there right. There we go. But it was, what I mean. it was boot barn. Uh, it was great. Yeah. We had a great time. That's exactly who I would picture yeah. you doing a corporate for. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> That's who I wanted. It was like all the boot barn store managers. Yeah. The Nashville crew was like, yeah, we've seen you at Zany's. Wow. Yeah. Was like, I thought they said, oh, we've seen you at boot barn in <laughs> yeah. Nashville. <laughs> Did they pay you Unfortunately, no one recognized me from any of the boot barns that I've been in. I've been to yeah. quite a few. Mm-hmm. I would think that'd be a corporate gig that you called and asked for. <laughs> You, you would think you sent your avails to boot barn. I wanted it though. I didn't want when I heard I had it. I was like, "That's what I'm talking about." Yeah, yeah. And they go going to Las Vegas, you know, but not like Las Vegas. They go, no, no, no. The other that's the kind of Las Vegas I want to be. Yeah, at. I, I like yeah. a little off the strip. Yeah, you know, you want they like the desert. People are a little hard up out there, and I, you know, I I don't look shady out there. You know, mm-hmm. it's like it's a good time. Do you run into any tunnel people down there? Do you hear about what they got going on? I know about it. Uh, I don't know if I did. There were some people that I saw that I was like, you could live in a tunnel. That's right. for sure. Yeah, I've been imagining there's some people that uh, you see, you're like, you're like, yeah, they could they could walk with them yeah. in the tunnel. You know what I mean? 
Like it wouldn't, they can. What do you mean? They go back and forth. <laughs> mm. You this, see them up top, uh, right there. Well, so I don't know. I told me, but mole people in New York, like they're saying, they have there's layers. There's people that lived in this, the subway system, like all went under New York, like yeah. the old tracks and stuff. Yeah. So there was a thing with mole people, and they lived it. There was different society. You had to have some people at the top that could go out and get stuff. So they have to be somewhat presentable. Oh, okay. Because they have to go out and get stuff. They're still what are the other people looking like though? Mm. Well, they, they don't know. It's dark. They don't know. They're they are they are down there in the dark. I mean, I, I don't know if they've taken a shower in ten years, like or whatever. Uh, it's it's a different world. But you got to have some people at the top that you still, if you found out they lived in a tunnel, you wouldn't be like surprised. You'd be like, okay. But they also, but I, but when they walk out, you can't be like. That guy lives in a tunnel. <laughs> yeah. You know, you can't immediate. He needs to kind of blend in with the, probably the regular homeless people. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know about this tunnels. They're talking about Las Vegas. Though. They say that they're like, they get flooded out all the time. Yeah. A lot of them die all the time because they get, every time there's a big rainstorm. Yeah. They just I think that was a better out. way to say it. Flooded out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, flooded out's accurate, unfortunately. Yeah. Pretty yeah. gruesome. I'm mm. yeah, I'm talking of the way that you said it, then yeah. chimed in. I like South Point though, the thing because it felt like you're off the strip, but it also still feels like va- it doesn't feel like some regular, like kind of casino out in the middle of nowhere. Where those feel per- like fairly empty and pretty sad. Yeah. Uh this one was popping. I showed up, I flew in on Monday night, got in at like twelve thirty, walked in, wide open in there. Did you gamble? No. Oh, I just yeah. hung out, had cigars, and yeah. looked at people and got mm-hmm. in trouble for filming, you know, that sort yeah. of thing. In the casino? Yeah. Yeah. Real quick. They didn't it did not take them long at all to shut it down. What were you filming? Just myself. And it just, oh, you know, okay. just kind of showing the being yeah. like, oh, I'm at this place, you know, yeah. that kind of stuff. Sitting at the blackjack table. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> filming. <laughs> I listened to your podcast on the drive home today. And Dusty has a podcast. Drive home from where? Cincinnati. Oh. Dayton, like, Kentucky. What are you talking about? <laughs> Kroger. <laughs> That's right. A uh, couple episodes behind. Was it a show in the afternoon yesterday? Yeah. yeah. Why didn't you come home? Well, it was like over like it. I could have, but it was just a long drive. And they had Wasn't a place. an hour ahead? Yes. You still would have been home around midnight. And that's. I For mean, an afternoon show? Four. What time was the show? 4 p.m.? Yeah. So you're done at 5 p.m.? Done at 5.30. It's about a four-hour drive. 5.30. Get home at 9.30, 8.30. Get home easily by 9. I say take the night of peace. Well, he's not running from the stage to his car. Yeah, I don't know. Long list of fans. You know the pace at which Brian moves around. But let me tell you who wants to get out of there after a show. (laughs) Brian's got (laughs) to... Anybody want to meet? You could just sit there from the stage and... You could have probably asked, hey, do you mind if I get ahead of this traffic and leave early? And they go, no, no, yeah, you should go. (laughs) Well, I sold a lot of shirts. I'm joking. It it is a, there's nothing better than an afternoon show. And then being done. Then being done. And then you get to like, you could go eat. You could go watch some football in your hotel room. Have a real night. You have a real night to yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm a, I'm a big fan of that. So I'm, I'm just giving you a hard time. Well, uh. So I was a couple behind on Dusty's podcast because he shares his good stuff on on that. If you mm-hmm. want to check it out, um, okay. it's all good, but uh, yeah. But yeah, skipping deep. ahead because uh, the one from two weeks ago, I'm like, let me just see. I like the Bible talk and I like the okay. comedy talk, but some of his other stuff, I could take it or leave it. Sure. You know? mm-hmm. Skipping ahead on Dusty's, it's interesting because you know I just skip ahead and he'd be like, that's why I don't think vegetables are real. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'd skip a little bit more. And he's like, "If your child is kidnapped, you're never going to see that kid again." <laughs> and then I skipped ahead a little bit more, and he said, "Look, if you're a diabetic or something, maybe talk to your doctor." I'm just saying, this is what I did. <laughs> <laughs> All that's true. That is true. Yeah. I remember saying those things. Now yeah. the take on the kid. That was a terrible take on the movie Taken, though. I totally disagree with you. I'd like to hear this. I think we've even discussed on this part. You said he was a terrible dad. Yeah. He's the one told her not to go. The mom yeah. was the one terrible. Yeah, but you lock it down. You know, mm-hmm. you make a harder. He should have made a harder uh, push for her not to go, or had a conversation with the mom. Been like, he this did. is serious. There's a real issue going on. But he's the one that went and saved her. 
you know, in the end, yeah, he gets to pat himself on the back and be the hero. Yeah, killed 80 people in the yeah. process, but he got her back. Yeah, but it's like, yeah, they still let her go. He knew that threat was real. He knows it's so real because he's in the business. Mm -hmm. mm. It's like, if you're in the business, I just, I don't even believe that the ex-wife is letting her go to this country alone. But she wasn't going on. She went under false pretenses. That's the whole point. She it's was going, been a while. She was since going I've seen with that. a friend, and they lied and said, "We're going to go follow you two around Europe and just go to these concerts and go to museums." And actually, her parents were going too, right? No, no, it was just her. It was just her and a friend. But okay. the, but they lied about why they were going there. So let's cut Liam Neeson some slack, dude. Yeah, I just I'm not in. I'm not into his him being so much of a hero. It's like cool. It's a cool action flick. Yeah. I mm -hmm. like it, but mm -hmm. as far as him being a dad, I'm not into it. Yeah, but this is like yeah, but his teenager is going to Paris, staying at that girl's parents' house, yeah. and they were going to be there. Yeah, but still, yeah, I don't support it. Yeah, and why aren't vegetables real? Well, I now think I'm curious. It, well, I think it's an interesting idea, right? That 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 uh, like you have. Like all, all the all the things that are listed as vegetables, like uh, peppers, they have seeds. It's like that's a fruit. You have, um, you know, uh, lettuce. Peppers a fruit. Lettuce. That's just leaves. Uh, broccoli. <laughs> that's a flower. Yeah. It's like when you get down to it, it's like, well, what is a vegetable? And then like like you have uh, potatoes. That's roots. It's like it's all just. What is a fruit? Is this just you coming up with this, or is no? I saw a TikTok on it. Okay, but that, I I like the idea. But that's like saying there's no mammals, because well, what what is a dolphin? Well, that, I mean, they just have different names. It's just a fish. But it just the, the just water. the point is that all vegetables could easily fit into a different category. Yeah, but maybe it's just the ones you can eat. So we just say, and that is what together. someone said. Yeah, and he's mm -hmm. like, yeah, he's like, this is right, but we're, we're vegetables are like the edible version of all these. Mm -hmm. But I just thought it was interesting. I was like, I like that, you know? Because yeah. tomato is a fruit. And we've all agreed with that, even though we uh, are like, oh, it doesn't seem like a fruit. I don't think I ever thought it was a fruit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. a, it is a fruit. It's listed as a fruit, I think. Yeah. It, and homegrown tomatoes are very, very delicious. Uh, according to the vegetable Wikipedia, it says the original meaning is still commonly used and is applied to plants collectively to refer to all edible plant matter, including the flowers, fruit, stems, leaves, roots, and seeds. An alternative definition of the term is applied somewhat arbitrarily, often by culinary and cultural tradition. So it's not cut and dry. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, and it, it's it, saying, but includes savory fruits such as tomatoes and curds. That's originally vegetables was just an overarching term for all of this apparently. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that that makes sense. Veg like vegetation and then a <laughs> yeah. like edibles. I feel people have just so much time <laughs> on their hand. That's the problem. Yeah, oh yeah. Like you now once you once you don't stop having to f gather your own food, you're <laughs> yeah. just like the worst. We're the worst now. We're just like <laughs> Oh yeah. Well, I don't know if I would call it and you're like, "Oh, like, you know, the people that like have to grow their own food and gather yeah. like, yeah, dude, I could never I don't care what it's called." Yeah, you know. Yeah, I think you would just call it by its name. You wouldn't even really need a category for yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Look at the amount of people who've edited, revised, and added to this vegetable Wikipedia entry. Wow. Thousands. Mm -hmm. Thousands of people with nothing. Wow. Nothing else to do. Yeah. Can you imagine? But I appreciate it. I mean, we just looked it up. Can you imagine mm -hmm. though? You're like you're like, you know what? I'm gonna get on Wikipedia and edit this vegetable page. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I mean, there's yeah. Well, I bet there's high people that do it often, mm -hmm. and you're and then I bet there's people like this guy's good. Mm -hmm. I like this guy. Uh, yeah, I bet there are people that just pretty much all they do is just mm -hmm. should just do this. Could they get paid at all? I don't know. They have employees. So. Wikipedia has employees. They just yeah. asked me for another donation. And I wish they'd get on my Wikipedia and do some stuff. Well, have you read yours lately? I think it got, got updated a bit. Better? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because as of last week, it was funny. I don't know how accurate it was. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this looks pretty straight up. Yeah. I pretty looked straight at up. It. Nothing crazy on here. Okay. Nate Land gets a shout out there at the bottom. I mm -hmm. like it. Nobody yeah. mess with this. Nobody edit Dusty's Wikipedia. Yeah. Yeah. This one's good. 
it's going to look completely different. <laughs> no, this, this is week. good. This is tip top. Yeah. No, I'm saying it's good yeah. now, but yeah. now, now that we've opened the floodgates. Yeah. Well, uh, you went to the Titans game. Yep. Yesterday. Uh, they were favored by two and a half. They did not cover. We got our own guy. Yep. Malik yeah. Willis. So uh, if you'd have bet on the Packers, you would have won money on DraftKings. Mm -hmm. DraftKings is the place to go. Ready to place your first NFL bet? Maybe this is the weekend. Titans play at Miami, Monday night football. Should be interesting. The D Dolphins are down their third string quarterback. Can the Titans get their first win? Go to DraftKings and you can bet something simple like picking a player to score a touchdown. Go to DraftKings Sportsbooks app and make your pick. Um, ready to do a touchdown dance on if you, all, all on your own? Do you have a touchdown dance? <laughs> We've seen it when you were a kid. You ran that, uh, was it an interception back? Yeah, I handed the ball to the ref like I'd been there before. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's that's a, right. That's all Is that the only time you did it? Is that the only time you ever scored a touchdown? No, I scored lots. Oh. Of, I used to be an athlete, and then I gained a bunch of weight. But you and were. all went away. Oh, so you were uh, on offense. No, this was a pick six. Yeah. What? But yeah, I played quarterback. Oh. Until, wow. until like middle school. That's when kids start to separate from each other, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's when you start getting Krispy Kreme for your. <laughs> Right. Straight A's. <laughs> New DraftKings customers bet $5 to get $200 in bonus bets instantly. Score big with DraftKings Sportsbook, the number one place to bet touchdowns. <laughs> Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code NATELAND. That's code NATELAND for new customers to get $200 in bonus bets when you bet just five. Only on DraftKings, the crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY-467-369. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort in Kansas, 21 and over, age and eligibility varies by jurisdiction. Void in New Hampshire, Oregon, and Ontario. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. For additional terms and responsible gaming resources, see dkng.co slash ftball. NFL Plus Premium offer available only to new and former NFL Plus subscribers. Additional NFL Plus Premium terms at NFL.com slash terms. I like what happened in the middle of that ad. Well, just, it said, said ad-lib, so like, that's what I we were like, doing. I like how that just went to Aaron eating a lot of donuts. Yeah. <laughs> that's how we'll we ad-lib. find a way to wedge that in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is ad-lib, uh, when he does it, it says host ad-lib, but it doesn't say throw it on other people. <laughs> 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 uh did y'all read any of this no. No, mm -hmm. uh let's do a quick uh oh yeah oh can i say i went to uh, austin texas this yeah. weekend i did the mothership really great oh yeah like, let's just talk about what we did and then and then i'll read this before okay. you do the comments okay. like yeah. top notch like uh i mean they treated me so good mm -hmm. i've been treated very well by clubs for a long time but they were like above and beyond they were so nice to me they hooked me up really great five shows really fun i love it love the club yeah. everybody there was super great loved it yeah that's great yeah yeah club was yeah that's awesome i mean everybody I seen it yet, yeah but. everybody was nice they have a little bar after mitzi's that you can go hang out in they let me have cigars in there it was great tony hinchcliffe was in there very nice guy yeah uh yeah i had a great time that's awesome yeah Look at that, dude. I mean, it's a cool club, right? So I felt, you know, a little nervous about it. And uh, Is that Kurt Metzger? Yeah, oh, yeah it was. Yeah, yeah. Metzger. Yeah, hung was out he with on him. your show? No, he was yeah. doing the showcase there. I guess he just moved yeah. there. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we hung out a bit. Matthew Broussard. Uh, yeah. Old friend. And Is uh, he there? He was, no. Actually, he said, uh, I guess his wife is from there, so they kind of go back and forth okay. a little bit. Yeah, so... Mm. It was great. They took great pictures the whole weekend. I mean, had a photographer the whole time. I mean, it's so great. Yeah. You going to Austin? I don't think so. But the condo was amazing. They had this condo, 20th floor, windows all around. I'm overlooking the whole city. I was the third person to ever be in the condo. So it was oh, fresh. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just first class treatment. Yeah. It was great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. Loved it. How many rooms is there? Two rooms. Two rooms. And so the other room just kind of run. Did you go up in the other room? I didn't know. Yeah. I was doing five shows. I'm good yeah. with that. I don't yeah, need yeah, to. Yeah. yeah, and I felt good. I mean, the shows were all sold out. It was really fun. Every mm. show was great, you know. 
little, people got a little rowdy some shows, but rowdy in a positive, fun way. The way you like. Yeah, the way you like. Yeah. 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 So that's great. I loved it. That's awesome. Look at that, bud. Yeah. All right. Fun stuff. Yeah, I went went to the Titans game, and then I was in Foxwoods. Casino. Had a blast. Uh, Trying to think of anything. I don't know what happened. 41 new minutes. All right. Pretty pumped. Wow. Very excited. Not saying it's all, it's, yeah, the 41. Wow. Every show. So it wasn't like a fluke. Because the first time I'm like, well, maybe it's a fluke. This crowd's great. Yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, whatever. And I was actually forgetting a little chunk. <clears throat> I don't think it's all in there, but it's it feels, obviously it's not all in there. One part is I'm doing for, S, that I'm doing on SNL. Uh, but, yeah. We didn't even talk about that yet. Yeah, oh. we haven't even mentioned that. <laughs> You've got some. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. So many of the things that are like throwaway mentions now, like we would have done a whole episode about it on the podcast four years ago. Now you're like, yeah. oh, yeah, I'm doing SNL. Yeah, It's crazy. Forgot to, forgot to lead with that. <laughs> like, that's insane, dude. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Nate Braga team doing SNL. <laughs> yeah, that's what it, I mean. That's. A, and no, that's I'm very, crazy. it's crazy. Yeah. It's awesome. It's, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. I'm in it. Like it's hard. It's like I'm. I'm just in it, man. Yeah, he's like, handing the football to the ref. Yeah. He's been there before. I've been you know? there. Like it's. There you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. It's like uh. It's super. Yeah. It's the craziest thing ever. Coldplay super cool. Uh. I'm excited. I was working on the set. I'm still working on this. The monologue. I'm excited about the monologue. Uh. You know. It's there's a lot of stuff that I'm doing. I'm excited for everybody to, you know, I think by the end of this year, you're going to hear, if you're here, a lot of announcements that this stuff that I've been working on, this stuff has come out. And so it's SNL I knew about, the Christmas special is a big one, and then there's this, there's some other, should be some other announcements, and it's all kind of splattered through the rest of this year. So I'll kind of set the schedule or kind of let you know like what it's going to be and mm-hmm. what we're doing. And uh, I'm all, I'm pumped, dude. Like it's like I, with Nate Land, even us as a company and what we're getting involved in, all this stuff, Nate Land Productions is a part of all this stuff. So the CBS special is being produced uh, with Lauren Michaels, but Nate Land Productions will be on there too because I will be there and we will be helping. And so more trying to get more people to know what Nate Land is and Nate Land Entertainment, good, clean, funny, and all that and uh, making, con- you know, want to make content, but want to eventually be making, you know, the TVs and movies and make stuff. I, I, I'm just, ex- uh, yeah, I was very excited this week, just talking about it. Yeah. Jelly Roll's on it the first week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's so another big win for the kid from Old Hickory. All right. Yeah, he's from Antioch. Uh, so it's, but it's, I'm excited with, like, we, we got some pretty awesome there's just some awesome things going on. I can see it where it's like, we're going to be able to make stuff. And, you know, like if you can show my comedy to someone, the goal of it is anything that we shoot, you know, yeah, we're not making, you can watch it with your family. Like, and uh, I think you can make things cool that you can watch with your family. And I think it's something that's not being done at all. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, you know, not everything might be as perfect, but. No, I have every all of you guys listening and watching in mind and just trying to, you know, make I don't know. I'm pumped. I was excited. Yeah, it was thinking you got it like it's like I got real big on being a, the whole weekend. I, th- I thought about it this morning. I thought I wasn't gonna say anything about it. Cause that's a, but it was like being a creator. Like if you can create mm-hmm. uh oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It is that. I'm just <laughs> Being a creator though is is everything. Like, that's I the more meetings I get into, the more uh stuff I get approached with and blah blah stuff. It's like you realize like being a creator is big. I think you either be a creator or if you're not a creator, be with a creator. Find a creator, find someone that can make s- something out of nothing. And when you and so it's not just comedy. It's any any business that you could they can make something someone that you could go to and go this is not happening anymore and then that person goes don't worry about it we're figure out the next thing you need to be around that you either need to be that or around that and I think career wise and so if you have your app somewhere with the boss 
and you're just like, he's phoning it in. If it phones it in from the top, it's going to be phoned in the whole mm-hmm. and direction. And that's what happens. Honestly, I kind of feel with Hollywood a little bit. Like, there's it's gotten to a point where they are just kind of like, they're too removed. And it's all, and it's people that are still in business that were like there when, you know, I mean, I, I'm trying to think of like an old act, like when Dick Van Dyke was on or something, you know, like, <laughs> It's there's still people in Hollywood that were like those guys still are around. Not I'm and I'm not specifically talking about I'm talking about an error. Right. But like the people that were around in the nineties and, and they don't move so it's you know, people get kind of stuck and then they you don't if you don't have someone with good vision, or you you either have it or you put yourself on if you go around someone with that's a creator, I think it's a good thing. Yeah, more creating, less consuming. I feel like we really yeah. can get caught up in like just taking it all in, but it's better to, you know, create. It's better for your mind to create a little bit. Nobody is creating in the in the grand scheme. The in your average work day, wherever you work, I'm not obviously people create, but the average person that you have interactions with, they're not creating. You're not interacting with a lot of creators. People are just doing life. And I think that's, and they can do that. I don't, I want to make stuff for those people so they can do it. If you don't want to do create or be do this, I want to be able to be there to be like, just trust me, I'll make stuff that yeah. for you that, you know, whatever you, it is. You got to have the consumer too, right? Because if you're just creating, yeah, yeah. Yeah. then. Yeah, not everybody. Yeah, not everybody. Yeah, watch creating our stuff. A, it's a lot, dude. Yeah. It's a lot. But it's like every time I have any meetings I got, anybody some some brings up something, and then you're like, yeah, I gotta go create that though, dude. I have to come up with the thing f- how that's gonna work, and it's so you just learn to, you know, like I don't know when to do it, when I do it. Creating is if you walk around and you can create, you're walking, you are above any interaction that you will have. You might not be at the level that you're at right now. Maybe you're young, right? You're young, but you but you, you have a mindset of create like you just anything that gets introduced, you're like, why would they do it that way? That doesn't make sense. And then you go, all right, well, you need to figure out, go learn that way, figure out why they're doing it that way. And then you go, well, I think they should do it a different way. And then you go, well, now I got to get in a position to do it in a different way. Mm. You don't get to just walk into a lot of people walk in the first day and go, you should do it this. You you quietly do this. No one knows. That's the idea of it. You just kind of like are taking it all in and you quietly just like get to the point where you then go like, I'm going to do it this way. And you got to trust yourself. That's hard. I think I go through that now. It's like I've been so much asking, am I doing this right? Am I doing this right? And then there's a point where if you do want to go to another level, you have to go, I am doing this right. And I need you to just to follow me. And not saying it's going to be right. That's a very hard thing to do because you want someone to be above you. I mean, that's, you know, essentially where God would come into play, like where that's the only one, but you'd want someone above you because you always want to go like, right? Is that a, no, 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 no. And so then there's a point that keeps people stagnant. You get stuck when you can't, when you can't not go to someone and say, is this right? You think we should do this? You just got to go to do the, do that. And if you do it, there's nothing that could happen. You could, you, there's no way you could go wrong. If whatever you try to do, nothing can, nothing matters. That's how you have to think. Yeah. Nothing yeah, just matters. Do it. I'm going to make this, these, this video. What if it's bad? It just doesn't matter. It's either good and people know it or they don't care. And, I'll make another one that's better. I'm not going to, it doesn't mean I fail or I quit or I did whatever. It's like, it, it yeah, just it's all a matter. learning experience. Yeah. You got to fail. You fake it till you make it. I mean, maybe that's not the right <laughs> term, but uh, <laughs> yeah. you fail while you're learning to do things. Yeah, but your failing is needs to be, uh, I don't think you should be, it's weird because people always ask us that like, you know, oh, did you just bomb at the beginning? You're like, nah, I mean, no. I didn't like I didn't have a plan. Yeah, I wasn't going on stage bombing. Yeah, yeah. Every show. Like what like, yeah, (laughs) stuff was what? That's just funny. Yeah. (laughs) Well, they hear comics say that. I know. And you and you tend to go, Yeah, I used to bomb all the time. It's like, I don't in the moment you're like, if I was bombing, it's not that I was a good comic, but or I was I don't know, I knew what 
I could tell a joke. Yeah. And you learn he had such a joke. Not saying it would always go good. I would not get laughs. Yes, I did bomb a lot. But it wasn't like this, you know, sometimes you're comics and they're like, man, first 10 years I bombed every show. You're like, then you stink, dude. <laughs> if you bomb for 10 years every show, you got the most amazing stamina yeah, yeah. of anyone I've ever seen. Yeah, you're insane. But yeah. like a lot of times <laughs> yeah. at the beginning, you're bombing. And I guess I just, maybe I take it too literal. Your bombing is not because of you. It's because I'm in a bar <clears throat> and there's five TVs on behind me. And no one's listening. Mm -hmm. That's that's majority of your bombing is you are in a bad situation. The reason the show would be whatever is because I was in front of three people. Yeah. And I'm just trying to do comedy to keep them there. They don't want to be there. And they were just waiting to go up and they're next. Waiting to, yeah, or they're waiting up to go up next or whatever it is. Open mic is just people sitting around. You're not, it's not like you're bombing. It's like you're just, it's like, yeah, the situation is brutal for the comedy. Were, were either of y'all here with uh it was very early when I started stand up. Ron White popped in at a show on Broadway. Yeah. I was doing a show that he popped in on at the at the Broadway one. He went up and the crowd. It was like you know, it's a bar on Broadway. Mm -hmm. It's the worst environment ever that, for a stand up show. Uh, the bar on the end, Acme, uh, Acme, the yeah. one at the that end. That was my show. No, you weren't running the show. Were I you? was headlining the show. Okay. I did a show at Acme, and he he I came up after yeah. me. What I heard was he went up there. He was like, if y'all get quiet, I'll tell some jokes. Nobody got quiet. Yeah. So he was like, all right. Yeah, they were so loud for me the whole time. I had an okay set. And then Ron White comes up and it's like, oh, man, this is awesome. Yeah. And he did say that. If y'all shut up, I'll, I'll do some <laughs> jokes here. And then they never did. <laughs> yeah, so he's like, all right, I'm done. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's like there are just impossible situations. where That's like, most of your beginning is in yeah. not good situations. Mm -hmm. But it does not mean that you're learning and you're, you don't have jokes. I don't want it to come off like I'm saying I never bombed it. I just never understood it when it was like when it's always going bad and you're always, you're like, what? Mm -hmm. You're like, you don't, I mean, you're, the great thing about stand-up is I can figure it out the next show. Not you know you're always learning and you're mm -hmm. learning every day at the next show. That's why stand up is so beautiful because it's that's why when you go pitch when I go pitch shows or I pitch stuff to these networks and all this stuff and you know the best thing with the CBS thing is working with Lauren Michaels. That's been his production company. That's been the best thing. That's why that show is going the way it's going. It is it's because of him. Because because that guy's been around for a very long time, and that guy is goes this guy. I like this guy, and I want this guy to do that. That's because of that. Because all the other ones, they're just uh yeah, I don't know. And you want to go? Hey, I go to every state, every almost every city in America. I've been to Europe. I've been to Australia. I'm telling these jokes. They're laughing at these. That's just what I'm telling you. Yeah, I can just, and I went and did it. So let's maybe make television. <laughs> are movies that would seem like they'd be for those people or at least they're welcome to come to, you know what i mean yeah it's a broad what about mainstream what's wrong with mainstream i love mainstream me too and so it's like they're not mainstream country, all that so. stuff yeah <laughs> <laughs> i love post malone <laughs> i love everything he does i love the fact that he's turned into one of the greatest country singers <laughs> of our lifetime. Yeah, I don't know anything mainstream you like. Well, I don't know. You know <laughs> Levi. No, I, yeah. Yeah, I like some, you know, I like yeah. some mainstream things. Walmart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But your comedy does have broad appeal in the yeah. way that Nate's talking about. So yeah. it's not like you're some niche act that's like quirky and weird. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody can go to your show. Exactly. That's mm -hmm. what I'm talking that's about. That's all. That's what I'm saying. Just come, you have a good time. That's mm -hmm. it. But I remember calling you anytime you would get mentioned on anything. If I was listening or like uh, Artie Lang and Nick De yeah. Paul used to have a show. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. And uh, one time they just mentioned you. And who was the other guy that was their sidekick? Uh, Mike. Uh, Bossetti? Yeah. And they just like mentioned you in passing. And I called you. <laughs> I was like, yeah. hey, they just mentioned you. I was like so excited yeah. for you. Yeah. And now I like, was excited. Yeah. Last week, we didn't even mention you were on that Jimmy Fallon golf thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's crazy, man. It's, 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 uh, it is. It's doing a lot of this stuff. I just have a lot of, you know, it's like, it's, it's, uh, I want to see this stuff filmed. I want to see how it does. I want to do this variety show and see are people going to watch or, 
is it you know i'm going to try to make we're going to make it as the best we can make it and fit what we want to do so it's like i want to make all this stuff and see if people start coming out and see if you know it's like i do know how to do this but it's just like if you have a vision i think you can do anything it's always like if you're if you're if you i, I just think you can get in any if you have if you just know like all right i'm staying i'm just not gonna go off because sometimes some people you know i get told or someone says some <clears throat> well don't become like that whatever you're like i'm 21 years in this mm -hmm. trust me i would already have a show if i became like that <laughs> i don't have anything because of that <laughs> and the only reason i have stuff now is because we have people in arenas coming out to shows yeah. so there's a point it's like steve martin is great become undeniable the point that a lot of comics we live by that you just have to get to that point where they can't they just go like you're your own thing yeah too big to ignore and then right. you just get to go do yeah. your own thing but i mean i look all this could come crumble down i stink so uh always remember that i am i could be terrible i don't think that counted as a rant either uh, no and it was i haven't done a rant in a long time it has I, felt good I don't think it. i've done one in this in this no this is the first yeah. rant in the studio yeah i, no, I think you've done some no i haven't done any he does it now it's all dusty and it's just <laughs> negative yeah that's what i do i feel good about it i felt good about that it was inspiring yeah, exciting things happen in here. It is good to create, I'm, though. People, you know, they yeah, they yeah. they get you get you consumed so much that you go, oh, everything's been created, everything's been done. What can I add? Mm -hmm. And it's like, just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. And don't worry about the other <laughs> yeah, people. Nike. You should put that yeah. on the slogan. <laughs> yeah, it's like don't worry about what other people are doing. Just do yeah, your just thing. Be just do all you. you. Be, just, yeah. just have a vision. Be yeah. all you can be. And just put yeah. a bunch yeah. of stuff yeah. out yeah. on be the all, internet. These are great things. Y'all should write that down. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm loving it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. You go, if you just have your own, you know what you want to do. Yeah. Just, just do I it. mean, there's so many things. Or that get I, yourself around someone that does it. There's so many, so many things I've done that I've run by people and they go, nah, I don't do that. And then I do it and it's good. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, there's some bad too. This but, is uh, the part that I want to say. First time, I, I mean, I remember being around. So my dad, obviously, my it was a lot, a lot like this. With he always just did it, figured out magic and all this. But when I started working, uh, when I did uh, delivery stuff for my buddy Jimmy Hunter, and uh, before I started comedy, and Jimmy Hunter was a guy like that. He was a creator. And so it was one of the first times I ever got to be around a creator. We would be delivering uh, for Sears. So we're delivering washers and dryers from Sears. And then that ends up stopping. But I would stay with Jimmy. And then Jimmy would be like, all right, now we're doing mattresses over at this place. Or now we're doing Lowe's. We got into Lowe's and now we're, we drove to Lexington and Lowe's. And I remember it was, a, it was a big deal for me to see someone like that that goes, this guy didn't go, well, that's done. We're out of Sears now. I mean, I just stayed with him. He goes, don't worry about it. We'll be fine. I'll have us work. And then we'd stay with him and he'd always have me work. He'd always, I, he, next day he's like, hey, we're going here. Pick me up and we drive and go do work. And so like being around that then, mm -hmm. before I started comedy, that's what I'm talking about creating. That Like that guy, either, either if you're not the creator, if you're younger, if you're younger, like I was, be around a guy like that. Because that's a guy that just looks at nothing is going to bring his world to the ground. It just can't because it's impossible because he doesn't have anything in one kind of thing. And he does a very good job, but stuff doesn't, you know, it's like stuff just doesn't pan out. Like it's, you just go like, yeah, well, Sears doesn't need us delivering washers and dryers anymore for whatever reason. Yeah. So now we do mattresses. And then we did mattresses. Then we did recycled tires. When they did all the tire recycling in uh, when the Ford Explorer, they took all the tires back. We we all right. We have we had we had twenty four foot box trucks. We're drive recycled tires tires down to Atlanta. That doesn't seem fun at all. <laughs> no, Washer collecting. dryers okay. Mattresses okay. Recycled tires. That was that, like, that job was on dirty jobs. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was hard, but it's the idea that like nothing's you're not above anything, you're not below anything. Like you're just 
you just go like, yeah, yeah, I'm just like getting the thing. Here's the thing we're doing. And when that thing got, I don't know if people are old enough, you remember when that recycled tire thing, it was like a big deal because mm-hmm. it was like all Ford or something, their tires were recalled. So everybody had, I think I've talked about it on here, right? Maybe when like, we did our jobs. When, yeah, everybody recycled tire. So you would have to go pick up their tires. One guy, we had to go pick one up in a cave. That was because a, a guy, because they would, a tire place would pay you to come get their tires, and then you take the tires to Atlanta, and then that's where they would cut them up. And so I drove a truck with a bunch of tires from Nashville to Atlanta, and then one guy took the money to take the tires, but just dumped them in a cave. <laughs> wow. So he was like, well, I'm not, so it's Smart, fraud. Honestly. Yeah, yeah, I think he went, he went to jail. Well, so so, yeah. so we, had, we had to go get those tires. Yeah. So those tires, we just went in. Did he cave. go to jail for that or yeah, other stuff? for that. <laughs> oh, okay. Because it's, uh, and then we had to go in there, and then we, I mean, uh, it's just. What do they do with these tires? They uh, cut them up, like chop them up and like recycle them. You ever seen like a playground? Yeah. 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 You know, who knows what they're doing? You're probably yeah. eating them. Everybody, no one knows what. <laughs> they're in our foods. No yeah, one knows what so. recycling really is, <laughs> yeah. but it's, everybody says it, but I don't think anybody knows what it is. Yeah, I don't like it on the playground. Oh, I go you, to the playground with my kids now. I don't like it. I, I don't trust you them. just land on the Nah, I, I, I give us mulch again. That's what it's mulch. I it want wood mulch. mulch. Oh, yeah, I want splinters. Uh, yeah, yeah, I like the, the rubber. I, 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 kinda, I, mean, I get what you're saying a little it. bit, but huh? I don't trust it. Well, yeah, I could see that. You got a lot going on. Would you like to know where the tires come from? Yeah. 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 Who who's had these tires? That's what I mm-hmm. want to know. I want to know details about it. Mm-hmm. I'd like to know how they make at tires. the trailer part. Would they do full tires? As yeah, the floor. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I burned a tire one time. Wow. And it was uh, pretty intense. Mm-hmm. I, I wanted to because they were always like never burn tires. Yeah. So I was like, well, I, I think s- we hung out with different people. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I've ever got told that, but I don't think I was ever in a position where they thought, hey, I think Nate's about to burn this tire. <laughs> But I wanted to see why yeah. you shouldn't burn this tire. Yeah, and you and found it's out. It's pretty intense. The yeah. fire department came. I mean, it was oh really? Deal. Yeah. How old it's, were you? Uh, I don't know. Eighteen. I mean, yeah. too old to be doing it. Yeah. I feel like you're a scientist, and you don't even realize it. Yeah, but it was like, I mean, it was a too many experiments. S- smoke, just a thick. I yeah. mean, you, you could see. I mean, way up in the sky, the fire department came, and <laughs> they were like, "You can't burn tires." And I go, oh, "Okay, <laughs> sorry about that." I mean, it's you know. I didn't know what to tell them. Yeah. I, you know. Why did you just walk out and go, what's going on out here? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was in a trailer park. I yeah. don't think they were like, I think they were like, ah, here we go. Yeah. We they go. were like, this is best case scenario for why we got called down here. <laughs> yeah. That's what, yeah, yeah, that is true. <laughs> yeah. They go, no, nah, no, nah, you're fine, man. It's a relief. We thought we yeah. were about to break up. Thank uh, God. It's the tire. <laughs> a break up. Multiple families fighting. So... This is what you need. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. There it is. You could have talked to someone instead of burning that That's, tire. That is true. I mean, I just went through this whole thing. This we could have done the, the. It's what you want to learn something as an adult. BetterHelp is a great place. Talk to someone. It's a good thing to talk to someone to talk th- throughout through things. Uh, you know, it's like I've tried to figure out uh, how to balance or I don't, I don't always like the word balance but it's like you always try to figure out uh you know how to manage everything ma- manage your life and your life is very busy and especially in these times where it's you know you get it talk to all day every day text everything uh you know and look kids are always learning and growing up but as adults we can sometimes love that curiosity uh rediscover your curiosity with better help Visit betterhelp.com slash Nate to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash Nate. So that sound was, there's a show that we were told to mention this, that a, a show's going to be seated in the next room in about 20 minutes. We're, we're still going to be going, but if you hear anything, that's what it, We're in a comedy club. So we there's going to be some Zane's noises. in the lab. Tonight is the first Nate Land First Nate Land live show tonight. Yeah. Is that yeah. what's being set up in there? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. All right. Look at that. Yeah, we're going to be doing, uh, yeah, it's Monday night. First one. Uh, I will not be at this one. I have to leave. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, I, got, I think uh, one of the last softball games for oh, Harper. That's exciting. Uh, but it's yeah. This is we're gonna be doing this every Monday, uh, and uh, right, I think every Monday, and then uh, it's gonna be awesome. It's you know just trying. You're gonna be able to come. We're gonna have comics come. They might like they will they will hopefully be clean like we say they're going to be like what we want that fits in nate land but they might not be in their regular comedy act but they you know will ha- hopefully clean it up i think they will yeah probably not in their right reg- this happens to me all the time people will open for me and they'll be clean for me and then i'll see them at another show and i'm like jeez <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, I mean, a lot of that is, yeah, we have no, I, we will, you know, in the Nate Land world, there's going to be a lot of people we use that I can't promise you if you go one of their shows, they're going to be whatever they're clean. But when they're here, yeah. And that's what these comics, if you're a comic, learn how to be able to, if you want to be dirty, learn how to at least do be both. clean. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm hosting tonight, so. I was clean right. yesterday with the family, so tonight I'll try to dirty it up a little. Let loose, yeah. you know? Yeah. Crazy. Let loose. Yeah. He'll be at softball games. Yeah. 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 There's a guy in the comments who hates when I tell you to be dirty, but I just think it's funny <laughs> to even just say it. Yeah. I'm just, mm. you know, I don't, you know, I just, I think one show, if you went out and just were like, just wild. I think it would be hilarious. And then yeah. go back to doing your regular Yeah, thing. make sure those phones are locked up. The, the Hot <laughs> Fudge Sunday show? Yeah. Here, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Um, I think DJ Demers comes out this week. All right. Oh, DJ's yeah. great. Yep. Very funny. Um, uh, yeah. DJ Demers, uh, that's a showcase full set out on Monday. Or it came out, it came out today. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it came out today. And then uh, Dusty hosted this round, Chastity Washington, uh, last week. If you're in, Na- if you're in Nashville, tickets on sale for the next showcase October 1st and November 4th, uh, all at the lab. Uh, we got the Nate Land Live show tonight. Brian is hosting. It's at the lab every Monday night. Uh, get your tickets to the next one on September 30th. Uh, Nate Land Entertainment recording Stephen Rogers special. Uh, we are recording Greg Warren special. Stephen Rogers is October 12th, Comedy Fort, Fort Collins. Uh, Greg Warren special is November 23rd, Funny Bone, Columbus, Ohio. So if you can make it to one of those tapings, uh, you're you're with us. You'll be on the ground floor of all this Nate Land world as we build it up. Uh, Nate Land Podcast Network update. Two little quick ones. Always remember, check out Don't Make Me Come Back There with Dustin and Melissa Nickerson. Episodes drop on Thursday. And we have a new podcast announcement. Mm, this is the first week we're doing it. Super excited. Uh, everyone wants it and everyone loves it. Everyone wants Greg Warren. Well, now you have him full time. All right. Debuting next Tuesday, October 3rd, The Consumers, hosted by Greg Warren, Tim Convey, and Sean O'Brien. A new episode every Tuesday. So there you go. That's the, right. When you can't be a, cr- a creator, be a consumer. Like Greg be Warren. a consumer. <laughs> you can't be Nate, be Greg. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the Consumers. <laughs> Greg, Tim, and Sean come together each week to bring you the consumers, a podcast that meets the customer at the cash cash register, combining entry-level research with questionable personal experiences to put your brand loyalty to the test. So that's awesome. it's exciting because yeah. that's what Greg's so great at is being passionate about yes. these brands and these products. Yeah. And that's the, that's what the podcast is going to be a yeah. deep dive into a brand. He's a like creator that, so. for the product. Oh, sure. So it's not like, that's what I mean. Creating doesn't mean I need you to invent something. Mm-hmm. It's being, you need to create a new path for maybe the product that is already there. You got to go do it. Uh, other the last little thing, uh, October fifth, I will be on SNL with Coldplay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> yes. Also, October fifth, I will be on Saturday Night Live. Uh, I believe Coldplay's on the show, <laughs> and <laughs> there's. Uh, I'm going to be gone uh, September. I'm I'm gone uh, like I think a good bit because I have uh, SNL. Uh, we have something else fall break. I have something else doing. Uh, 
we just have a few things. So we have a lot of fun guests planned to come in with these guys. Uh, so, but just giving you a heads up, I'm going to have to duck out. Mm-hmm. Be running around. Well, thanks. It was good seeing you, buddy. Yeah, man. Uh, let's start it with you guys' <laughs> comments. <laughs> Uh, Adrian Micah, Mika. This was such a perfect episode. The gang all together, everyone relaxed and having a good time. Seeing Aaron so happy, relaxed was a great sound that Lucy and the baby are doing good, which is an answered prayer for many of us. Y'all's are the best. Is the baby? We're all. Have y'all talk about it earlier? Mm-mm. No, we haven't yet. Uh, yeah, Thursday night. Having yeah. a kid. So oh, if you're watching okay. this. It's his last night. This is my last night. What, wow. do, what do I what what do I need to do the next couple of days? I mean, what, uh, what should I get into? Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stay up. Uh, leave Lucy. Leave I don't know. Lucy here by herself. Maybe drop sleep. Lucy off at the airport at the hospital early. Yeah. Just so she's there. Yeah. Southwest of Vegas. Direct flight. Direct yeah. flight. Yeah. Come back next day. I would say sleep. Yeah. Uh, just sleep. Sleep full. is probably the best answer, but the most boring. Just one, sleep. But entire nights like just yeah. all the way through yeah because mm-hmm. you're not going to get a lot of that for yeah. a little while it's, gonna, it's hard because lucy yeah. go feel lucy getting up and out of bed and that's hard to like stay asleep <laughs> yeah uh <laughs> you gotta be like uh why don't you go sleep you know what i'm gonna sleep in the guest room yeah <laughs> <laughs> i got a big day of walking on my treadmill at my desk tomorrow i do popping off emails <laughs> Walking 500 miles an hour. <laughs> Matt Graves. Nate said, Betta Bates Uber ride set their future back a ton. That makes zero sense, but I knew exactly what he meant, and that's why I love this podcast. Yeah, that's very fun. Uh, who knows? Yeah, it can't set the future back, but it could. Maybe it could. Micah and Jess shoot. Shoot. I think they got a little one together. Mm-hmm. Micah and Jess Shut, maybe, or shoot. Uh, I agree with Dusty, uh, Dusty on country music genres. A lot mm-hmm. of modern country really should be categorized as country pop. Coulter, Coulter, Coulter Wall is a great example of some modern quality, old school sounding country music. Love the pop. Coulter Wall's great. Mm-hmm. Really great. I think a lot of people are coming on your side now. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. they get it. People... People were afraid to say it, mm-hmm. but now that mm-hmm. it's out, and they're like, you know what? I do agree with this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Zachary Ward. Love that Aaron <laughs> referred to candle scents as flavors. <laughs> I think his top five smells really got him going. <laughs> Love the show, gang. Yeah. He, he, I did get fired up. I didn't realize I did that. What'd but... you eat that night? <laughs> Did you have something? It's tough candles? to think back that far. Did yeah. you have something though? Because of the uh, when I got when I got home after the podcast. Well, you know, because we talk about you talk about like something, a smell you like, and then you're like, oh, I would like to come home and have smelled freshly baked cookies, but that never happens. You know, Dude, Lucy, get on it. <laughs> you know what is she even doing? Yeah. <laughs> I know. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Destiny Trevino, one of Aaron's new top five cents soon will be his newborn baby girl. That's, that's true. Very true. Is it true? Yo, oh, yeah, yeah, new baby. Yeah, smells. yeah new baby so smells. The really? Best too. Yeah. Okay. And it's your. It's like your baby <laughs> smell. Yeah. It's the best. I, it's, it's it's beautiful. It's the best, dude. Mm-hmm. It's the be- just that's the I do I miss the being that little baby like. You know, like they're just, they got wrinkles or they mm-hmm. got, like, it's just the best. Dude. Yeah, it is. So that it will is. be, that'll be nice. Okay. I'd like to comment on the spelling of you... destiny here. That's, uh, I've never seen that. That's pretty interesting. Yeah. Destiny Trevino. Yeah, that destiny though. D-E-S-T-Y-N-E-E. I bet she decided that later. <laughs> well, maybe because Trevino, maybe regular destiny Trevino was already taken, so she just spelled it that way. Oh, maybe so. You never know now. Uh, you know, you can really put different names anywhere. Like back growing up, you really could only there was never anything to do a fake name on, right? Oh, other than like government documents, but yeah, you weren't signing up for stuff online. I know so, now yeah. it's like people can just go like I'm John on youtube mm-hmm. and no one ever knows who john is back then it was just yeah your name tag at work 
pretty much all you could do. But you could then do a the people at work would know you. Yeah, but they're in on the joke too, you know. Yeah, like you put a you, yeah. You could get your my uh, my brother in law. His name's Gerald, and he's got bald head. They used to call him Onion Head, <laughs> and so he would have that on his name tag, Onion Head. Mm -hmm. That's a tough nickname. <laughs> Was that a law firm they worked at? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> now, are you going to hand out cigars in the lobby, Aaron? Is that a thing? Yeah. yeah you, you want us? You want us there waiting in the lobby? I'm coming if there's cigars. Wow, I didn't know that, that. I thought that was like an old wives' tale that you smoke a cigar. Because you used to be able to just do it probably in the hospital, right? In the waiting room back in your day. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They I don't didn't know if they Oh, like yeah. That. When yeah. he was born? Yeah. No, smoking was definitely loud. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the doctor had a cigar. <laughs> Cigarette. <laughs> I don't think it was cigar. I think it was, yeah. When, yeah, when Bates was born, it was. I just think about her you born. during the daytime to have light. <laughs> Sun's going down. There, yeah, there was deliver there, this yeah. baby. Uh, yeah, inducing. Is that what it's called? Inducing. That's what we're. Yeah, we're yeah. we're inducing. We got to check in at eleven forty-five p.m. on Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, so that yeah. that we start it officially at like twelve oh one a.m. Yeah. Friday. Yeah. And why are they doing it middle of no the night? No idea. No idea. Very little has been explained to me. But I'm just along for the ride. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you got your a.m. and p.m. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sure because I remember saying, "Okay, that's a little late," and they go, "No, nah, this is how we do it." Maybe it's less busy at the hospital during that time. Maybe they're going to a concert or something. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to come after. Yeah. What did they do? <laughs> they're hand stamped <laughs> uh, for in back in your day, Bates. When they induced, did they? What was it like they made them eat beef jerky or something? Like <laughs> I try to think of anything. Like they don't. They don't have no medical way. Smelling yeah. salts. They just walk in the room and go. Hey! They yeah. scare. They go. Hey! It's like the they hiccups, go, oh. and they go. All right, it's happening. You know, yeah. when I was born, they said I was like three weeks late, and yeah. they said that they told my mom and dad to go drive around on some dirt roads, yeah. and it's like real bouncy. They yeah. said that should help induce labor. It gets it going. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So inducing was just like you had an old fashioned. Now they force it, or now they there's a way to do it now. Yeah, they medically get it going. Come on. Come on now. <laughs> they go, come on. Come yeah, on. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> come on, girl. <laughs> Put a Pop-Tart. Uh, Zach Wright, when your house is on fire and you only have time to grab one thing, don't underestimate how important your pillow is. I never travel anywhere without mine with my pillow because I sleep terribly without it. If my house burned down, the last thing I need is sleep terribly. Uh, life is already going to be difficult. Enough. That's that's not bad. That's, not uh, bad. that's one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Helix sleep. Aaron. <laughs> a pillow? You mean the thing you have 14 of at every hotel room? <laughs> yeah, but some of those are not good. Uh, I mean, you know. I'm sorry. I appreciate you writing in, Zach, but I mean, <laughs> a pillow is a dime a dozen, brother. <laughs> I mean, a Helix does make a good pillow. Yeah, but maybe he doesn't and, need but I'm anything not run, else. No offense to our sponsor, Helix. We love Helix. I'd I'm be, not running into a burning house for my Helix I'd pillow. be sad if I didn't have it, but I'm going to agree with you. I mean, it's like if the house is burning down, I'm not worried about the pillows. <laughs> yeah. Just playing in head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love that. He's like, well, I got to get some sleep, though. <laughs> yeah. My house is burning down, but I want to get a good night's yeah. sleep. <laughs> yeah, Zach. You think Zach would be asleep before the fire is out? Yeah, yeah. firemen are not even there yet. He's hey, like, yeah, uh, I'm getting a hotel. Has anybody seen Zach? You're like, oh, he's out. Dude. Yeah, he went over to the neighbor's house, knocked on the door, and said, "House on fire again. Do you mind if I stay over here?" Brought uh, my pillow. Sarah Keith. <laughs> not as much fun as the idea of having two noses, but the reason pregnant women. Have a higher sensi sensitivity to smell is survival instinct to protect the unborn baby. They are able to de detect expired and spoiled foods easier, and therefore avoid eating them and getting sick. Mm. You should do that with Lucy with your food. Like, yeah. Hey, is this still good? It's some old yogurt. Yeah. I just did a cleaned out our pantry and fridge the other day. You get stuff gets tucked back there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's like, I don't even remember thinking about buying this. Mm -hmm. You know, it expired 2023. Just disgusting stuff. What did you eat though? <laughs> <laughs> did you eat anything? We had Wobble House today. No, I'm saying, but did you have, 
Uh, <laughs> what do you mean? Like, did you grab any of that stuff and you go, eh, I bet I could still. A couple things. You got, oh, that date's not, you know, I'll yeah. say, yeah, about a week, you know, a week off. That's when you have now. Lucy. Test it for a you. A week yeah. off is okay. Yeah. Less it depends on what milk. it is. Yeah, yeah, milk or something. Milk will get ruined quick. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Larry Miller Jr. When I was attending Auburn, I worked at Jim Bob's Chicken All Fingers right. as a dishwasher and cook. Oh. I loved the smell of chicken until I worked there. Every night I would leave, I'd have to roll down my windows on my drive home and wash my clothes as soon as I got home to get rid of the fried chicken smell. Well, Larry, I don't know if you know this, but I also worked at Jim Bob's Chicken Fingers. Mm. Um, mm. And, a dishwasher uh, or cook? Yeah. And I never really made it up to cook. I got to cook a little bit, but I was mainly a dishwasher and a sauce guy. I like two employees coming together like this. Yeah, mm. but I I know what you mean about that smell. But yeah. I maintain that I still love it and loved it even then. And But I get That's it. It's kind of crazy. It is crazy. I don't yeah. know that Larry. I that's why he wrote in. That's uh, what I, I think you would have said, like you, Dusty, I worked at Jim Bob. Yeah. I think you would have said something like that. I worked at Jim Bob's. But yeah. I read it, like, when I when I was attending Auburn, I worked at Jim Bob's Chicken Fingers. Yeah. That's, that's how I read but it. But you would have said something like, I also worked at Jim Bob's. Mm, I think Larry trusted you to kind of connect the dots. No, I don't think they knew. <laughs> Should a dishwasher and cook be capitalized? Because those jobs aren't important. <laughs> Well, <laughs> depends on where you're I'm working joking. at Jim I'm Bob's. Joking. It is a big deal, dude. I remember when I'm I kidding. when I worked. Uh, also, make the tea. Yeah, I was a <laughs> I was an Expo food runner at Bluegrass Country Club in Hendersonville. The dishwasher was the hardest working guy. Yeah, in the whole country club, he was a guy named Dale. He's on work release, mm -hmm. and they used to, and he'd go back to prison when he was done. So he oh. would work hard when he was there. Wow, and uh, like he worked slow. <laughs> No, but he was just that kind of guy. He was just like, yeah. he kind of enjoyed working hard, mm -hmm. you know? And he used to tell him, I, I used to hand him plates and you know, it was like, I go, this is gross. And he's like, buddy, you couldn't gross me out <laughs> if you tried. And you're eating the fries. Yeah, you're licking the. Yeah. Tonight I got to use the restroom two feet from another guy. Oh, <laughs> I yeah. like, I go, All right, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But respect the dishwasher, man. Well, Larry, I appreciate you writing in. Mm-hmm. Uh, Albert M Multari. The reason you can't smell yourself is known as olfactory fatigue. They say your nose only recognizes changes in smells, so after a while you won't smell the dead skunk in your house, but everyone else will. Hmm. You think they call it olfactory fatigue because it's, people used to work in factories? Probably. <laughs> Old spaghetti factory. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't put much thought into it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, old spaghetti factory yeah. fatigue. <laughs> um, uh, how's yeah. your golf game? <laughs> golf game's good. Golf Where's game, that grenade at again? Well, besides the grenade that I got, but PXG. Uh, I got PXGs. Uh, PXG is an ad. PXG very, is very a sponsor. Exciting. Yeah, oh, this is awesome. We're the real deal, dude. Uh, there's a house farm running in from a I'm PXG. a big fan of PXG. So I've, uh, I have, PXG has been very nice to me uh, throughout the years, and I've had a lot of sets of uh, their irons. Uh, I got the new PXG Black Ops irons. Uh, they are game improvement missile launchers that feature X Core 2 technology and dual cavity design that combines with their high strength, ultra thin. Maraging steel club face to deliver superior forgiveness. Uh, and it's, uh, I love the, I, I've done, I've done a lot of fittings with PXG. I've done a lot of stuff with PXG. I'm a big fan of PXG. I use their clubs. I'll be honest with you, I get a lot of clubs and I can use a lot of clubs. Uh, and I've always used, I've always go back to PXGs. I've played, all of them, I, they're not saying one versus the, but the one that the 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 clubs that I use the most, I I the ones that I use every time, honestly, is the PXGs. I've always liked PXG. I think they're great. I'm not just telling you that. Uh, they they have a, their new driver is terrific. Uh, one thing with PXG, people always like, ask about the drive. Their new driver is great. It uh, they just keep improving it. 
The fitting is great. I mean, it's they get you really set up. I get they're they got a great putter. Uh uh golly, go to their putters and uh I don't ever remember the names of anything. Uh right there. Allen the Allen putter. Mm -hmm. It's like it doesn't have like torque on it. So when you putt, it kind of keeps it straight on the line. So it doesn't because you can tend to I'll tend to open the face and close the face and whatever. Yeah. And so it really stays on the line. It's got a thing. It can pick up the ball underneath it if you I do enjoy that. But that putter has been awesome. Uh, take the PXG Irons Challenge. It's a ton of fun. And if PXG's new Black Ops Irons don't outperform your current irons by delivering either more distance or tighter dispersion during your fitting, you get a $100 MasterCards Rewards card. That's, you get it if it doesn't. That means better accuracy. Uh, this offer ends October 7th. Let me say it again. If, uh, it, if when you do a PX, uh, G irons challenge, uh, if the PXG's new black op irons don't outperform your current irons by delivering either more distance or tighter dispersion, which means accuracy during your fitting, you will get a hundred dollar MasterCard rewards card. Hmm. This offer ends October 7th. Book your fitting today at pxg.com. That is pxg.com. It's a great new putter. I love it. Awesome. I, I think that we think I, we were talking about something like new putting is probably going that way where it's not going to, it doesn't have like the turn. It's just, a, it's, I mean, it, it is, it's a great, great, great putter. I, yeah. I mean, I, I got the new ones and I just, that's awesome. They're a sponsor now. Yeah. That's big time. Yeah. We're doing uh, it. We're like a real thing. Mm. We are. We're the real deal. Uh, when my daughter, uh, Polly G, when my daughter was three, she developed horrible breath. After, after it got worse, we took her to the doctors, and they agreed it stank, <laughs> but couldn't figure out why. That's how he's writing. <laughs> a month went by, and we decided to try a doctor one last time. She said there's something up her nose. She grabbed the long tweezers and pulled out a tiny piece of paper. When it came out, everyone in the room dry heaved because it smelled so bad. As soon as she saw it, my daughter remembered finding a fortune cookie paper, folding it up and sticking it up her nose. Wow. Mm. <laughs> That's crazy that something like that could smell that bad. Yeah. So she had the olfactory fatigue going on because mm -hmm. it smelled so bad, but it was in her nose yeah. and she yeah. couldn't well, smell it. Well, she's three. I mean, it's like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mm. it's crazy. funny. Just so bad, they go to the doctor and they're like, "Man, yeah, that breast stinks, dude. <laughs> yeah. We don't, we don't know why." <laughs> yeah. Good luck. Yeah. Yeah. And doctor after doctor is like, I don't know. And finally, one's like, "Oh, let me yeah. see. Yeah, maybe look maybe, into this. Yeah. What about the nose? Yeah. Let's look in the nose. Yeah. It's like uh, yeah, Carl from Sling Blade. Figure it out. He's like, ain't got no gas in it. You ever <laughs> <Yeah>. see that? <laughs> Sling Blade. <laughs> yeah. Can't find it, right? Yeah. Is that one of the movies you can't watch? Yes. I have it. I own it, though, if you guys want I have Sling Blade, too. Yeah. Why? Really? They blocked it off? No, well? I shared it on here how, yeah, you. Uh, it's not on any streaming service. Oh. You have to buy the DVD. Mm -hmm. Wow. But you can't buy it on, can you buy it on Apple? Like, buy the movie on I don't. Apple? I think it's hard to even buy it. Hmm. Corbin Re Redding. I was actually on, I was actually on Sister Wives. I officiated the wedding of Christine Brown last season. I've been a fan before Nate Land and actually listened to Nate Land on the way to the wedding. So cool to see you guys talk about it. I'm in season 18, the last two episodes. Look at this. Ah, oh, There's yeah. our Corbin guy, the officiant right there, Corbin. Look at that. Real deal. Oh, man. How about it? Beautiful right. wedding. She Good marrying night. a different guy? Yeah. Wait, did he just kick up his leg? <laughs> yeah. Well, she like... <laughs> Corbin told him to. Yeah, she kissed. She should have toned she, that down. She Corbin. leaned in. Corbin, you should say, what are you doing? Is she one of the wives that got divorced and married another guy, and that's part of the show? I, don't I know. think you know the lore better than we do, Dusty. Yeah. That's intense, though. That's inappropriate. They'll be kissing like that at the wedding. That's inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> I, I it, that, that is a, an aggressive kiss. He's obviously. into it, man. Mm -hmm. You know? He's, He's into it, but there's but, family out there. Yeah, but I look, this has got to be, this ain't wedding number one, you know what I mean? Like, it's <laughs> this is definitely a uh, yeah. down-the-line kiss. Oh, yeah. I mean, so, yeah, there's not, you're, if the kids are there, they're probably the same age as the parents. And 
really grossed out yeah. by it for sure. Uh, it's, I mean, it's, it's just so yeah. inappropriate though. Yeah. I Save know, it for the honeymoon, guys. I, I know, but I think it's you're again. You're at a wedding. That's uh, the producers probably said, "Hey, do something fun." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I really show off in front of the other wives. If yeah. you're listening, the dude kicks his leg up like a. I don't. I don't even know. I mean, like a woman might do. Yeah, she's I mean, I think the he's aggressor. Doing it to be funny, he's but. she's leaning in for the kiss. She's the aggressor here. Yeah, mm-hmm. aggressor is a strong word. Yeah. I don't know, though. Look at her. <laughs> well, thank you, Corbin. That's pretty yeah, exciting. That's, cool. that's pretty cool. I'd like to know how Corbin felt about it. He seems uncomfortable. I can only see one eye, but. Yeah, I'm sure it's just take. I mean, again, I'm telling you, they're like, let it play out for a second. It's going to be, this is a wedding, dude. They're going to be kissing like that. You're. This is, this is what I mean. It's inappropriate for your typical wedding, but this wedding right here. This, oh, oh they're, okay. They're going guys, back in. I, I thought so y'all good. were overreacting yeah. at first, but man. No, no, no. It's like, take it easy. It's, you know I mean? but uh, <laughs> it's, I think. I remember when this lady got divorced. Oh, really? In the show, so yeah. So there you go. F- That's but what this I'm is about. she got divorced from the other guy. And now she's marrying this guy. That's oh. what I mean. So yeah. when you do that, that kissing is and not she, it has no. There's no appropriateness to it. And she was married to a guy who was married yeah. to three other women. Yeah, come on. Yeah, come on. I don't think they're technically married, but they're yeah. like, you know, because I don't yeah. think you can have multiple wives in Utah. Mm-hmm. I think that's illegal, but. Uh, yeah, I don't even know what the yeah. Yeah, I have no idea what the dynamic is for any of this, but I hope everybody's happy. I've watched more of this than I would like to admit. Yeah, Hannah watches it. Mm-hmm. What? It, yeah. What? And they're yeah. I'm watching the show with Lucy now. It's one of these shows. It's just like everybody in the show is miserable. I just don't understand. But I mean, I'm watching. Day fiance. It. It's called Tell Me Lies. It's about these uh, college kids, and they all, they're all they all friends, but they all hate each other, and they all do horrible things to each other behind their back. None of them has ever had a good day. I don't think I've seen any character smile. Yes. I'm kind of into it. <laughs> yeah. What, what yeah. What's the show called? Tell Me Lies. What's it on? Uh, Hulu, I think. Speaking yeah. of creating, they know how to create a good show. They know how to pull you in with some real crap. That's oh, what yeah. it is. I mean, even Lucy's watching. She's like, "Yeah, this show's stupid." It's, I mean, it's idiotic a lot of it, but it's just like, I don't know. They got oh, it. They figured gosh. it out. The cover of that. We should even show it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> what are you watching? What's the matter with you, man? Yeah. What's the matter? You got a baby. What's the matter? On, you got to not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> That's what you should do. Before. Once the kid comes, yeah, we're gonna change. Yeah, binge watch. Yeah. Tell me lies until the baby comes. Yeah, be That's done right. with this. Yeah, I'm ready to be done with it. Yeah, shows are. Yeah, it's like uh, again, this is you're making stuff. They're not. It's it's because I I, I think it's because people make stuff. Uh, well, fire truck sounds of Nashville out there. Yeah. I think it's it's because like when they make it, it's the people that are making it as the writers do it. They're making it stuff that they watch, kind of stuff that they they kind of are into, and so they're like, "Oh, we're doing a show like that," and you're like, "Nobody," because they and because a lot of times I think in L.A. like people are not living a regular life. Like you're not, you're kind of like I don't know, you're single longer than you than the average person is, and you you can go to more parties or you go you go live this kind of. Like, man, I remember living in New York, and it's like Sex in the City, when that first came, it was a good show uh, because there was not really, I guess, a show like that. Mm-hmm. But then it's like now it's only shows like Sex in the City. <laughs> and you're like, all right, well, there's not, you know, it's got to go another way to yeah. be like, well, there's other people. Maybe we don't need all. Yeah. Does that make sense? Totally. Yeah, totally. Maybe it should start trending back the other direction, which yeah. is what you're trying to do. That's what we're trying to do. Yeah, the real deal. We uh, we're not going to do this. Yeah, we were going to finish up the senses, going to do touch, but we, we yeah. got a show. We're not going to really touch on it today, though. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, we got. I mean, that's better than anything we were going to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we may not even do it now. That's going to be better than anything I was going to have. <laughs> uh, so we got to wrap it up here. What in about ten minutes? Yeah. It's been a hot podcast, though. <laughs> mm-hmm. I feel good. That's a nice shirt you got there. It's a jacket. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People often comment how 
we all dress so differently. You guys and Dusty and I. Oh, weather wise. Yeah, I like wearing, but I think we're bigger. Yeah, I think there's just a vulnerability in only wearing a t-shirt. We, if I were in unbelievable shape, I would would wear just a t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, me. Yeah, we're on this. I make fun of Aaron, but I have the same dumb body, and I'm uncomfortable wearing just a t-shirt. Why I have a backpack on too? I need more stuff because if it's just me, you want the back to match the front. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm totally kidding. I just <laughs> <laughs> trying to balance it out yeah. so he doesn't tip over. Yeah. <laughs> What's in that backpack? Just weights. <laughs> Yeah, I'm totally kidding. But, but did Lucy uh, go? <laughs> did Lucy go? You don't even know what it's like to be pregnant. You're like, well, <laughs> you go. <laughs> right yeah. Now. Well, th- this okay, is, you're like, I try. don't get to have mine. You go try to be pregnant every day of your life for your whole life. <laughs> I've said that a couple times. She's like, you have no idea how hard this is. I'm like, like the kid's like five pounds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know you what I mean? You seen these calves? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know. I don't want to mention. <laughs> yeah. There's a. Uh, I heard about a uh, long ball festival in McMinnville that's start getting started. And uh, oh yeah, well you know I watched this movie called uh, <laughs> called uh, it's called Black Ball, and it's like a British movie. Vince Vaughn's in it. I've been going down a Vince Vaughn deep dive, old Vince Vaughn movies, and it's like British, and and it's basically like bocce ball. If you ever played that on the beach, where you roll the small ball down and then you try to roll the other balls and try yeah. to get as close to that one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But they, this is like it seems like a big game there. And I want to do it. I want to make a big uh, black ball tournament. That's what I want to do. Bocce ball? Yeah, but they, you know, they call it. They just call it balls. I think in uh, in, <laughs> in, in 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 England. But whatever. it's exactly bocce ball. But it, you know, but you're on a. I'm a, not googling this. You're on a court. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, as opposed to just the beach. Yeah. You okay. Know? Yeah, yeah. Like bocce ball. I don't know. When I played bocce ball, we did it on the beach. That's all. Oh, I okay, I've only played it on a little outside, like a, outside, but not on like the beach. Green turf because you want it to roll a little bit. Yeah, it's tough to roll on sand. Well, yeah, you get it on the the sand closest to the water out there. Oh, you know? so it's hard sand. Yeah, but you okay. want to build a court at your yeah. place and yeah. make a festival. Yeah, get the get McMinnville people together. Like let's play some. Bocce and it's just ball built out. around that. Yeah, mm-hmm. we'll have a grill out, cook some food out there. You could do a show. Very early. Yeah, maybe I'll do a little show. Very early stages of this idea that may not ever pan out. But uh, what are you going to call it? Uh, I don't know. I'm not gotten that far yet. Okay. What do you think? I don't know. We got some other steps to okay. take care of All first. Right, well, we got to figure out what the sports. I've called. always been a big fan of uh, the name first. You build the uh, yeah. everything around the name. It gets everybody gets to wrap their head around it. Yeah. Huh. Uh, so, you know, like this. Bocce ball, but not bocce ball <laughs> festival. Yeah. Kind of bocce ball mm-hmm. at Dusty's house. And it, it was bo- yeah. how do you spell bocce even? B o c c i. Yeah, it's confusing. You know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dusty ball, Dusty ball. I like that. Yeah, yeah. And then you go. I got this new game. You tell them the rules, and then someone goes, "Is this not bocce ball?" And then you go, "No, no, it's a little different." So yeah. maybe you add something different into it. Oh yeah. So if you can make up a new thing to bocce ball. Is then it it's B-O-C-C-E? Yeah. So well, yeah, yeah, see they on the the one that they're playing it looks on. Like it's Nick Saban. It's like <laughs> it's like Nick green Saban. turf. Is it not look, they're it looks on. dead of like Nick Saban? That's what he's up to now. Yeah. This is gonna be Dusty and three of his neighbors in a few weeks. Yeah. Staying it's green, outside. it's all turf though. Yeah. Yeah. All, yeah. This is a yeah. live shot of the dusty bowl. <laughs> I don't want to play on this gravel like it's this pea intense. gravel out here. Well, you'd play on turf. Oh, turf. Like Astro. Would you send a letter out to the McMinnville residents? I want to meet the mayor anyway. I want to try yeah. to get together with the McMinnville mayor. To tell him this? No, just to hang. Oh. I just want him to let him know I'm around and I'm a public figure and I'd like to <laughs> be friends with him. <laughs> you go, I don't know if you've heard, but uh, I've moved yeah. to your city. Yeah. He goes, uh, yeah. <laughs> He goes, I do this in every town that I move to. <laughs> I've always met the mayor in all my towns, but usually it's because I was on the wrong side of the law. <laughs> but now that I'm straight and narrow, yeah. I'd like to meet the mayor. 
of McBenville and let them know I'm out here. Yeah, and let's get you know let's get together. What well, and you, you're gonna ask him for some? You want some? Well, you gotta you know you ease in. I don't There's, know what I'll ask, yeah. but yeah, you want the relationship. You're gonna want to. You want. I need uh, some more gravel. Yeah, like you're gonna do something's gonna be. But would you put the artificial turf on your property? I think so. So it'd be a permanent. Or maybe you don't do artificial. Maybe you get, uh, you know, there's a real kind of turfy grass. Turf? Uh, is that what, I don't think <laughs> Recycled I tires. Like fill turf. Yeah. What if you use recycled tires? Recycle, yeah, yeah. Mulch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> leaves. You need some more leaves? Everyone bring dusty. Right, leaves. Well, I'm excited. Fall's first day of fall. Yeah. Plenty today. of leaves And now. so leaves mm -hmm. will be coming back. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> How was, was your garden this year? Really good. A lot of tomatoes, uh, a lot of asparagus, a lot of grapes. Um, I draw, I got a huge beet that I picked today. I let this beet grow for so long. It's like a potato. It's amazing. How do you stop it from growing? Kill it? I just pulled it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kill it. Kill it. <laughs> <laughs> but you could just keep going? I wanted to see how long I got. I got a guy coming to build some new garden beds for me. Oh. So I wanted to. I wanted. Where to see. do you? Can I ask you before you? I want to hear the end of this. Where do you find a guy like that? Where do you find the time? Well, I got a guy coming to build me garden beds. Well, he listens to my podcast. He built the porch for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And then he, he also does landscaping stuff. So oh, he's going to okay. build some garden beds. And then, so I got to get rid of the beans. So it's amazing on this podcast. We go, look, we'll read your comment. On your podcast, you're like, you want some work? I'll give you some work. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Your I'm listeners, look. you're going to be in the house. Yeah. yeah. I'm looking for some things to get done. Yeah. 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 Well, what happened with this guy is I got a new neighbor, and my new neighbor uh, gets, you know, he gets pretty wild. He gets a lot of letters from the HOA. He's in a, you know, always into something. And I started describing this guy and what was going on. And so the guy that built my deck emailed me and said, this sounds just like my old neighbor. So we started chatting about it. I think it is. He said, wait till Christmas. This guy's going to have a lot of inflatables. And then <laughs> oh, he did. Wow. Oh, wow. So <laughs> yeah. he thinks it's his old neighbor. I think it's the same guy. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. But where he lived, there was no HOA. So it got super wild. Yeah. Yeah. You put a lot of Christmas inflatables in your house? Uh, not not a single one. Yeah. <laughs> you think when that guy moved in, they go, are you sure you're going to handle an HOA? And they go, that guy's got the fence backwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He goes, put me next to that guy. That guy's going to get it. Yeah. Yeah, that guy's got a bat cave over there. In his yeah. Backyard. But you know what? That guy, my air conditioner broke. He works, he works for an air conditioner company. My air conditioner broke. I went over. I go, hey. Uh, you think you come look at my air conditioner? He comes over. He's like, opens it up. He's testing things. He's cutting wires. He's sweating. I'm like, this guy's about to screw up my air conditioner. And then he goes, oh, you're going to need this and this and this. And I go, well, where do I get that? He goes, well, they're not going to sell it to you unless you're licensed. And then he goes, I think I got it in the truck. And then he goes and gets it, fixes the air conditioner. Whoa. It's perfect. Yeah. Golly. Won't wouldn't even let me give him money. So you're gonna let him get away from some. I wanna stuff. write yeah, I wanna yeah. write the HOA and be like, this guy's okay. How much inflatable <laughs> how much inflatable stuff would he have to do before you have to go like, look, dude, I was gonna I like four of them. I was like, absolutely. I won't say a thing. Well, last year he goes, he's got a small yard. He's like, I think I'm going to use some of your yard for my inflatables. And mm. I was like, well, you know, and I, I think that would do it yeah. if he started using my yard. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. We got another Michael sighting. Uh, Michael Clay, <laughs> everyone what TMZ photo. All right. Dusty looks like when he goes to the post office. It looks, all right. Exactly remember, like it looks all the time. Yeah. <laughs> that's oh, my yeah. buddy Michael. That's you know, I remember, Sir Conrad, I, Aaron. Yeah, I remember talking to him. Did he yeah, stop yeah. and say hi to you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Incredible. Yeah, we had a good time in Wish there. you'd have done that for me. <laughs> well, you we, know, like we when left. a dog's eating out of a bowl and they go, don't pet it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah don't touch yeah. it. Like, it's like, I feel like it's That's like me that. at Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> you walk out of Chipotle bag. Like, <laughs> you got, you're like, I'm in a zone. <laughs> He's got, you know, so you got you got two backpacks on, front and back, and then you're carrying a bag. And you're just trying to look. Uh, he goes, I don't even better look at me. I'm not comfortable. You got a hoodie on. It's 193 backpacks. <laughs> two bags of Chipotle. You just won't do it pointing. You just nod at everybody because you won't point. And you go, yeah, dude. I mean, you're difficult to come up to, Aaron. <laughs> uh, all right. This was a quick one. Uh, so sorry about that. Uh, but uh, yeah, 
Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, I will check out Saturday Night Live. <laughs> Congratulations yeah. on SNL. Yeah, thank check you. Yeah, it's big time. Very excited. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, Have you met Coldplay yet? Have you talked? Uh, to him? No, no, I haven't. But uh, yeah, it's crazy. It's insane. I don't. You know, uh, it, it's I, I. I if I don't seem like I show anything, look, I'm blown away by it. I just take it all very serious. And I want to live up to your guys' uh, expectations, so mm -hmm. I've been working on the monologue pretty hard. Uh, so uh, yeah, it'd be it's gonna be crazy. This Thursday, um, <clears throat> you're having a baby. I'm at Louisville Comedy Club. Yeah, all right. How about <laughs> all it? Right. Two lives are being changed. Yeah. That day. yeah. <laughs> Uh, so come to that Thursday night, um, October 4th. I'm at Alley Rays in Knoxville. Um, October 11th, I'm doing a show with your dad and Jeff Allen at mm. the Fisher Center here at Belmont University. Uh, October 22nd is my next Brian Bates and Friends here at uh, the Lab of Zanies. Oh, October 17th, I'm at Arlington Draft House for the first time in Arlington, Virginia. <laughs> oh, nice, oh, dude. Nice. That's a great club. Man. Yeah, yeah, it is. You know, it's my really funny is that this weekend was, I think, the end of the Be Funny Tour. Wow. Not to say it, like officially. Yeah. It was the last show. I don't need wow. more shows. I have a corporate gig, uh, but I'm basically done with shows. Wow, how's that right. feel? It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've, I'm so <laughs> honestly, it's, I'm very busy with a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> yeah, so it's stuff. not like, but it's, uh, yeah, yeah, it's kind of crazy. All right. Sorry. It's all right. Uh, congratulations. Saturday Night Live. Thanks, the October 5th. Oh, I'll be the, there. Oh, sorry. Go oh, ahead. yeah. Oh, sorry. Aaron. <laughs> sorry. Congratulations. Yeah. Friday night, I'm hosting Mad TV. God. Uh, <laughs> I, I said not to put you on that. I go, that's no. November 24th, St. Louis Helium. All right. Got a couple tickets available, both shows. I don't, that's the next show I do, which mm -hmm. is pretty crazy. I got a month crazy. and a half off. I'll be busy, but thank you to everybody who's reached out. A lot of people DM me, commented, excited. saying, you know, they're praying for us. Appreciate mm -hmm. all that. Uh, we love we're pumped, it. man. We're pumped too. We okay. Are. Friday, Lexington, Kentucky. It's close to selling out, but there are tickets. And then Saturday, Bristol, Tennessee. Two shows. Uh, close to selling out there too. So get some mm. tickets. It's going to be a hot weekend. That's great. We, uh, yeah, Aaron, you'll be a new man. Yeah, come back and we're I'm very pumped. So happy for you. Thanks, guys. We're very Appreciate happy. Appreciate it, man. Pumped. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> there you go. There, he didn't even feel it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Hurt my All hand. Right. We love you. Bye.